Hi guys, welcome to Public Connect Workshop. So in this video, we will learn how to integrate Stripe and ConvertKit. Our use case is pretty simple. When a new subscriber is added in Stripe, it will tag a subscriber in ConvertKit. Now Stripe is an online payment processing platform and ConvertKit is an email marketing tool. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send the data from Stripe to ConvertKit. But there is one minor problem. The integration between Stripe and ConvertKit is actually very limited. In cases like these, we need to bring a third app to connect them both. So in this video, we will use Pabli Connect to integrate Stripe and ConvertKit. And the best part of using Pabli Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming language. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. Pabli dot com press enter okay so this is the website of pabli here go to hover on products and click on connect okay at the bottom you will find the option called as connect click this then click on sign in okay so this is the dashboard of pabli connect as you can see i already have an account in pabli connect you can build your own account in just two minutes now here i would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a free plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So if you want, you can create a free account right now and set up your automation with me. The link is available in the description box. Actually, I would like to insist that you try this automation with me. It's actually pretty fun. Okay, so scroll down and you will find the option called as connect. Click on access now here. At the right corner, you will find a button called as create workflow. Click this. So a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I'm going to give it as Stripe to ConvertKit. Stripe to ConvertKit. Okay, then click on Create. So when you click on Create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the Trigger window. Here in the Choose app, let's make it as Stripe. In the choose method, since we are interested when a new charge is made in Stripe, the data should be sent. So let's uh, make the trigger as new charge. Now new charge is basically a trigger. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger? Trigger is a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if new charge is created, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there are many more triggers like new customer, new invoice, new order, new coupon and so on. However, in case if you don't find the trigger of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com for the specific trigger that you want to make. But at present, I am interested in sending the data when a new charge is made in Stripe. Okay, so what we are trying to do is we are trying to connect Stripe to Pabli Connect. So let me show you my Stripe account. Okay, so this is my Stripe account. Since we are interested in integrating Stripe to Pabli Connect, let's go to this part called as developers. Click this, then click on webhooks. Here at the right corner, you will find a button called as add endpoint. Click this. Okay, so this is the window of add endpoint. Here you have to paste an endpoint URL. In this blank, you have to paste the endpoint URL. So where we are going to get the endpoint URL, let's go to Pabli Connect for that and copy this. This is the webhook URL or the endpoint URL you want. Copy this and paste it. Before pasting it, just remove this HTTP part and paste it here. Paste it here. Okay. So the description will remain empty. The version will remain same and coming to the most important part, events to send. So we want to send the data when a new charge is made or a charge is succeeded. So let's make the event as charge succeeded or captured charge succeeded. That would do. Then click on add endpoint. Okay, so it is showing that the status has been enabled. So basically what it means that we have now connected Stripe to Public Connect. Now let's see whether Public Connect can capture any data from Stripe. So to do that, let's go to Public Connect and click on this button called as Capture Webhook Response. Click this. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for a data. So let's create a dummy payment in Stripe. So let's go to payment and let's create a dummy payment. Okay, so the amount is, uh, let's say, 120. Uh, the currency is, let's keep it as uh, US dollar. Now, we are going to add a customer, a dummy customer. 
the name of the customer is jasmine lily jasmine lily is the name of the person and the account email is jasmine1234ert at the rate gmail.com something random that's all the description let's keep it as uh, let's party something random that's coming to my mind that's all let's party uh, the billing country let's keep it as uh, france i love france the address line one is uh, e105 near boulevard road road change the spelling to boulevard and road okay sorry about that uh, near random village postal code is a uh, 75001 city is uh, paris so the phone number is 9131323915 something random again so the time zone is uh, let's keep it as none the language is uh, french we have french yes there is french the currency let's keep it as a uh, swiss franc okay the tax status is taxable the tax id is just random then click on add customer okay a customer has been created then in the description just uh, type some name or something the state and statement descriptor is uh, let's keep it as pably because this is the account of pably okay the payment method i'm going to enter a dummy payment account number 4242 wait, 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 wait. 4242424242 okay so that would do then click on submit payment okay so a payment of 120 dollars has been made okay so let's see whether public connect has captured this data because public connect is now integrated with stripe so let's go to public connect yes the data has been captured so as you can see this is the amount it's actually showing in decimal form okay the whole 120 dollars is showing in full decimal form now uh, the rest of the details so let's see let's see the name no we want the rest of the details so this is the us means us dollars the credit card visa card details and um, so as you can see the email is showing as empty the name field is showing as empty and the address field is showing as also returning as empty that is because stripe only provide charge information like credit card details currency and amount my point is we are not getting the details the important details the customer details like name phone and the email so uh, without these details we can't fill a subscriber in convert kit so in cases like these we need to retrieve the customer information that we had filled so your obvious question is how we are going to retrieve that information it's actually pretty easy to do that just click on this plus button so when you click on this plus button another window opens up this is called as the action window here in the choose app let's make it as stripe again because we want to retrieve the information from stripe so stripe it is in the choose method since we are interested in retrieving the information of the customer let's keep the action as retrieve a customer then click on connect with stripe okay in new credentials we have to fill the token blank to get the token blank let's go to our stripe account cancel this okay so let's go to this part again called as developers click this then click on api keys okay so this is the key we want okay so reveal the token key and copy this copy this and paste it here then click on save so there is no need for that okay then click on save so in the customer id we are going to map in the customer id so to retrieve the information we should know the customer id so it must must be showing somewhere here the customer id so where is our customer id customer id customer id no not this one not this one not this one not this one yeah this is the customer id okay it is showing data object customer so whole data is stored in this this address okay so we want to map in this address okay so here we are going to map in the customer id so to map the customer id just click on this three buttons this is called as the mapping button 
so here we are going to map in the customer address so where was that address let's find it out uh, let's type customer we will get yeah this one data object customer then click on save and send this request okay so we have got the data okay so as you may remember we have mentioned the address city as paris the address country as france the address line as so e105 near bolivar road and the address line to near random village the postal code and let's see the email yes we have the email jasmine123ert at the rate gmail.com and this is the name and this is the phone number okay so our data is ready to be synced in convert kit to sync in the data just click on this plus button okay so another action window opens up here in the choose app since this time we are interested in syncing the data to convert kit let's keep the app as convert kit convert i'm sorry about that convert kit yeah this one in the choose method since we are interested in tagging a subscriber let's keep the action as tag a subscriber now tag a subscriber is an action so there are many more actions like uh, create a purchase unsubscribe a subscriber add subscriber to a form and so on however similarly like triggers if you don't find the action of your choice you can request at admin at the rate pavli.com to build a custom action for you okay so at present i am interested in keeping the action as tag a subscriber then click on connect with convert kit now in the new credentials we have to fill in the two blanks api key and the api secret to get both of these keys let's go to convert kit hover on profile you will find the option called as the account settings this one click this okay so here is our api key copy this and paste it here this is the api key you want now comes the api secret again go back and in the api secret just click on show so this is the api secret you want copy this and paste it here then click on save okay so a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of this blank is very simple we are going to tag a subscriber by mapping the data that we have got from stripe via public connect so in select your tag it is showing before that before we start mapping this uh, details let me tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100% secure with us okay so in select your in select tag it is uh, showing this awesome demo tag and public let me show you my tags so these are the tags i have here at the bottom the tags are awesome demo tag and pably so that is why it has basically got fetched that data from convert kit okay all the data has been mapped so in uh, actually i want to make a new tag for example i want to make a new tag so i'm going to create a tag the tag name is let's say give a name pink pink the name of the tag is pink then i'm going to save it okay as you can see a tag called as pink has been created so let's see in public connect when we refresh it will it fetch the tag yes we have a tag called as pink so i'm going to mention this uh, person this customer into the pink tag so the email so as you may remember i have called this button as the mapping button click this and we are going to map in the email so let's try email yeah this is the email but this is actually kind of wrong as you can see the data is not available here this is the same data that we have got initially so just delete it and we are going to map in the original email the map the email that we have received later this one okay after we have retrieved a customer we have mapped it same with the name we are going to map in the name so as usual we just type name and uh, yeah this is the field we want actually again this is wrong because it is not displaying the name okay so just delete it and we will fetch the data that we have uh, got from the retrieved as a customer so let's type name again and uh, yeah this is the name we want jasmine lily okay so all the fields have been mapped properly just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing that the data has been sent to convert kit so let's see in convert kit whether we have a let's refresh this first 
Okay. Yes, actually there is a person called as Jasmine Lily with the email address jasmine123ert at the rate gmail.com. So let's see in pink. We had kept it in pink, right? Yeah, in pink, there is a tag called as jasmine123ert at the rate gmail.com. So the presence of this subscriber means that we have connected Stripe and ConvertKit with the help of Fabric Connect. This means anytime a customer or a charge is made in Stripe, it will create a subscriber in ConvertKit. But to double check it if, uh, if the integration is working fine or not, let's make one more charge in Stripe. But before that, before that, let me show you the whole gist of the process. So I'm minimizing this action window and I'm going to minimize this trigger window. Okay, so this is the whole process in a nutshell. First, you integrated Stripe to Pabli Connect, then you retrieved the customer, and then you integrated Pabli Connect to ConvertKit. So now there is a perfect flow of data between them. Okay, so let's make one more charge in Stripe. So this time the amount is let's say 500. This time we are going big. The customer, we are going to add a new customer. The customer is uh, let's say Tyson, Jeremy, and the account email is uh, Tyson QERT123 at the rate gmail.com. The description is uh, random. The country, let's keep it as uh, India. G10 Ashoka Vihar. Address line 2 is uh, near pole. Something random, that's all. Something random that is coming to my mind, that's all. 462023. State is uh, Madhya Pradesh. The phone number is 9131323915. Time zone is random, just uh, language is French. Currency is US dollars. Tax status is taxable, tax ID is just random. Then click on add customer. Then the description, we have to fill the description as let's say Facebook. Okay. Statement description is a uh, Pabli because this is Pabli's account. 4242424242. Okay. 4242. Again, we have done it wrong. 4242. Okay, so the card details has been filled, then click on submit payment. Okay, so the payment is successful. So let's see whether we have a person called as Tyson Jeremy. So let's go and see in our convert kit. This is the pink tag we have. Yes, we have a person called as Tyson Jeremy in the pink tag of convert kit. So our integration is working absolutely fine. So from now onwards, Whenever a customer or a charge is created in Stripe, it will be reflected in ConvertKit. Not just these two apps, you can integrate a plenty of applications using Fabric Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate fabric.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or just visit us at www.fabric.com. It's awesome. Thanks.